The Taylor men's basketball team honored its lone senior Drew Tower and the Trojans scored a come from behind victory over Bethel 77-75 in the regular season finale. Really proud of our guys. It was, um, it was a, a day we talked about a playoff kind of a game and the fact that Jim is hot. Um, every possession counted. Uh, it looked like it, we knew it wasn't going to be easy. Uh, they're athletic. Uh, they, they have a deep bench. And uh, uh, our guys, I think, went through spells where they got a little tired. Boy, they showed a lot of guts, a lot of courage late in the game. Well, we didn't want to have Drew leave without a win. We were playing for him tonight, being senior night, and everything that he's done for our, our team and our program. And we really wanted to send him out in the right way. And then it was a must win to get into a tournament, which was a big deal. So this really, I think it bumped us up to a seventh seed. And that's also important. So we're trying to take it and move forward. Sophomore forward Nate Casper headed to the line with the score tied and only two seconds remaining. Casper smoothly stroked both free throws and Bethel's desperation three clanked off the iron as the Trojans claimed the victory. In high school I actually uh, had a situation that was the exact same. I was playing another high school team. I ended up missing uh, both of them. We lost in overtime so I just did not want to do that ever again. So. Uh, there's been a time before where it's happened, so it wasn't as nerve-wracking. It wasn't the first time, but I think probably the second free throw was the one that was a little bit more. Uh, Nate is another guy who you know, started the year with his leg in a brace for 10 weeks and, and uh, really didn't have a chance to, to uh, do a lot of conditioning and get ready for the season. He's done a great job to come along. Casper finished with 17 points, including a 7-for-8 performance from the line. Casey Coons led the Trojans with 25 points as the sophomore made six three-pointers. Got a couple of good looks, and my teammates did a great job of setting screens to get me open. And for the first time in a long time, it feels like I was finally able to hit some, some of the good looks I got. I mean, he played like he can play. He kind of let the game come to him. And, and um, you know, he's got a bundle of energy. He plays hard. Um, and you know what I think for our team, I think one of the real blessings, and he is this, I mean, uh, he's a problem solver, you know, it doesn't come smoothly for him, it doesn't, uh, it's not going to if you're a small guard and you're a young guard playing at a college level like this, uh, there are going to be trials and struggles, and so you've got to be somebody that's not easily disappointed or discouraged, somebody who's willing to get up and go again, and he has done that, fought through this, and uh, I'm really happy for him, he deserves this. The Trojans also got solid contributions from Josh Raconin and Jake Burkholder. Raconin finished with 14 points while pulling down eight rebounds. Burkholder scored nine points, pulled down four rebounds, and blocked three shots. Well, I'll tell you, you can pick Jake Burkholder's play in the first half, the defensive stuff he did, Josh Raconin. Josh Raconin probably um, uh, epitomized the effort, the intelligence of the game by, by pressuring the ball on that last pass at the end of the game, not, not, not being uh, uh, beaten on the end line and making that guy loft that ball up and, you know, two seconds ago to run off at that point. They didn't have a good place to throw the ball. Taylor finishes the regular season 15 and 14 overall and 5 and 11 in MCC play. The Trojans will be the seventh seed in the MCC tournament and travel to second seeded Grace on Wednesday for the first round. Tip-off is set for 7 p.m.